my flight to LA is delayed four hours. My flight was supposed to be at five. It's delayed until like 8.45. So I, I'm on standby for a flight in two hours. So we're gonna haul ass to Newark. I'm gonna take a fucking, I cannot reschedule this reading. Like this is like a very serious recurring client. So I'm gonna have to take that at Newark. Hope that I get on a stand, oh my God. I swear to God, if I'm not in LA tonight, I'm still here. We're gonna have, we're literally going to have an issue. Happy, uh, happy, I guess this is Christmas Eve for you all. I have landed. Oh my God. This was the worst. I've been on a lot of bad flights. You all know this. This was the worst. I'm, sh I'm literally shaking. I'm, sh I'm dead ass shaking. Did this dog just come back in the house? I closed the door. Just explain how the day has gone. So as I said earlier, my flight is severely delayed. It went from a 4.55 p.m. flight to a 10.30 p.m. flight. I'm like, I'm not doing that shit. So I show up to the airport at like one for a 2.30 flight because I'm on standby. I'm like, I wanted to fly on the 777 because I will always pick the 4.55 p.m. flight from Newark to LA because it's on a 777. A 757 is like all the other flights. That's a shitty ass plane compared to the 777. D demote the 757. It's a 737 with a little extra inches. Tr fly the 777 over the 757. We understand this now. Um, anyway, I'm like, whatever. We're going to have to fly on the shittier plane. Let's just get me to fucking LA. So I'm on standby on the 2 p.m. flight. And they're printing out my pass because I I'm Premier 1K status, so I go to the top of standby every time, and I'm on standby for business automatically because like I paid United my fucking livelihood basically. So they're printing out my boarding pass because they're like, "Man, you made it on the flight." I'm like, "Phenomenal." This man who was not showing up for his flight races down. You can tell he's high or on something. Takes his seat. They're like, "I'm sorry, ma'am, you now knocked off the flight." I'm like, my fucking God. Okay, well, next one. Next one is a 3.30 flight. So I only have like an hour to wait. Well, that flight is delayed because the flight before that was delayed. So it turns into a 4.30 flight. I get on this flight and I am in the second to last row in the back. Whatever. I have an aisle seat. I'm not in a middle seat. Whatever. I could care less. I just hope United refunds me for like the, the thousand dollar. Like it was like an 1800 business class ticket. They should pay me like a thousand dollars back out of that for a back row aisle seat in economy in the 757. I'm not like actually complaining. I hope you guys can tell. I don't, I don't really give a shit about shit like that. But I could tell that with the severe weather warnings, this was going to be a, a bumpy ride. So as we're taking off, this flight attendant is like, flight attendants into jump seats for the first two and a half hours of the flight. I am thinking two and a half hours, two and a half fucking hours. I don't have fucking time. Oh my God. Like I, the, the feeling in my stomach as we took off and I could tell this pilot was like, I have never felt a plane do this. This was an emergency drive. Cause the second we take off, it is like plummeting wind. Fucking a brutalization of the aircraft. Like the kind of thing where it's like, it's not just like, oh, jittery, ooh. It's like, oh my God, like, oh my God. So the flight, the, this pilot puts us into fucking ninth gear. I've never felt this. It was, we were on a literal rocket going straight up. Like we hit these bumps and it was like, just, oh, I can't even describe. I'm shaking describing this. It was horrific, horrific. And we're going, oh my God, everyone on this plane is like, and the, I'm in, I'm surrounded by families and kids and the kids are like, oh, mom, mom, like what's, oh my God. And finally we get up to our cruising altitude. We can no longer go up. We're at 40,000 feet or whatever. And you have to level out. The worst feeling on a flight is when you're plummet, you're going up and then you have to level out and have that weird like, oh, let's, oh, I hate that. I hate that. Um, this happens and we're in the midst of pure fog at 40,000 feet. The, the, the storms, horrific, horrific. And he's like, it's going to continue on to Chicago. I'm like, oh my God. So dead ass, I'm holding on. I am, I am, I am, no one knows this, but the girl next to me, you can see me palpitating. Just like, I'm looking at the flight map on the fucking horrible uh, entertainment screen because 757 is a shit plane, demote it, let it go. Finally, after Chicago, things do calm down a little bit. Fasten seatbelt sign goes off. I can go shit myself just to death because horrific flight. Then we get over Denver. 
and I looked up the article about like severe weather. I have the turbulence tracker on. I have all the turbulence trackers on. I know exactly what's going to happen here. I know that the flights were canceled from New York, Chicago, and Denver. So I know as we're approaching Denver, shit's about to get real. Oh my god. It wasn't the same, but like it was bad enough to where it was just like re-traumatizing. I just, I can't. But the cool thing, the very cool thing was that I sat next to the girl who fucking took this picture. My life is just like a synchronicity, like dream, literally a dream. Like she took this picture. She said it was just a stock photo that's edited and it wasn't meant for this specifically. Like Vakara used it for the suitcase, but that's been my day. And I've just been thinking about how it's already Mercury retrograde shadow. So this is my Mercury retrograde shadow story because this Mercury retrograde in Capricorn starts December 29th and it's not the end of the world by any means. This Mercury retrograde, let me repeat, this Mercury retrograde is not the end of the world. It is nothing that is that bad. This Mercury retrograde is conjunct Venus. It looks like a good, we're gonna go back, we're gonna rethink things. So around this Capricorn new moon, like if you're starting anything and it feels like something that's really exciting, really business oriented, really money driver oriented, um, you're likely to have to go back and rethink details around it. Sorry, I'm walking into my room and like placing everything where it needs to be. You're likely going to have to go back and rethink the details around it. Um, not in a bad way. What the fuck do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Show me what you want. Do you want food? He wants food. Um, anyway, this Mercury Retrograde Shadow is kind of a preview on what you might have to be rethinking or redoing. And I believe, like for me, this is in my first house. This was just like my behavior and my actions being, I'm dumping these like dog treats on the ground right now. Let's just take a moment. Oh my God, oh my God, oh shit. Oh my God, my friend, oh my God. I'm sorry, Danny. Oh my God, I have to pick up the dog treats now. Um, there's so many here. Let's just put these all. <laughs> this is so bad, I'm so sorry, Danny. <laughs> Horrific. Um, okay, well. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Danny. You're gonna see this and be like, oh my god. Well, Juju, enjoy your treats. Watch for the actions that are taking place that are inconvenient around this time. Because retrograde shadow is like a preview. It's not as bad. Like, I fucking got to LA. I arrived here. Did I do it easily? No. Am I a mess? Like, when I'm laughing a lot, you know I'm extremely tired. That's the only time I actually uh, laugh. The other time, it's like, just like masking, really. I've just like learned to laugh at things when I don't care to laugh at much. Um, look at your own life and the actions and the things that are happening that are inconvenient, that are unstructured, that are just like inconveniences. Um, and this Mercury retrograde, like I said, is not the end of the world. It's minor inconveniences, but the preview is now. So look at what's happening now. It's a, it's a look into it. And for me, it's about my decision to like do things. I'm actually so excited for what I'm starting before this Mercury retrograde, like under this new moon. Um, I'm just so fucking, I literally have the coolest shit going on, but I won't speak much about it because I know, like, the leaking out energy for me with manifestations every single fucking time. Because I think the world is just as, like, well-intentioned and, and like, kind of childlike as I am. So I'm like, oh, yeah, like, yay, this is coming up. Let me talk about it. The energetic, like, drain and leech and everything from that is just horrific usually. So we're no longer talking about it. But if you need to start anything, I would do it now before Mercury is actually retrograde on the 29th. It is in shadow. We can't avoid that. Mercury is never going to be in, like, a pitch... Oh my god, did I just break this suitcase too? Shit. Um, but it's never going to be in a perfect position, but it's not in a bad position. So don't be worried about the Mercury retrograde, but do know that, um, yeah, these things are coming up, so you might want to prepare accordingly. If you're flying out of the East Coast this weekend, blessed be thy name. Oh, this is coming out on Christmas Eve. I hope you guys are alive over there. Um, not because of the cold. It's not actually that bad. It's just the flights. So if you're taking a flight, blessed be your name. And now I'm saying fucking Christmas hymns for my childhood. You know that was, you you know during this plane going down, suddenly the Christian kid in me was like, oh Lord, like come back to me. If you want to see what a vegan dessert haul from Air One looks like, there's, a, I'm going to show you. I was going to make up some funny metaphor, but there was like nothing on my mind because like I said, I'm delirious. This was like, I'm gonna be honest, this was $114 total.
That is insane. That is insane. I cannot believe that I'm just like, sure. But, you know, you only live once. Anyway, we have a raw Katie cake. Do you see the texture on this? Basically, it's like sweet caramel and then chocolate on the bottom. It's, I don't know what a Katie cake is, but it's a raw Katie cake. Fun. Um, we have a uh, raw cookie dough cake. I've shown this one before. This is one of my favorite desserts at Erewhon. It's the same brand, just like different setup here. Um, we have a raw cinnamon roll. This is my favorite like Erewhon brand dessert. We actually have two of these. I'm getting one for myself and then one uh, for the person who's getting all of these basically. Um, I have a vegan tiramisu. This is also bomb. I've had this once. This is like a very good, this is a very good dessert. So 10 out of 10 for this one. And then I got my favorite chocolate bars. So you all know that this is my favorite chocolate bar ever for chocolate toast, put nut butter and a date on it. It's phenomenal. And then I also have had this one, the lemon ginger mocha one. It's pretty good. And uh, who kitchen cashew butter. It's cute. Um, for me and my actual like meal, Firstly, I like the watermelon kiwi. This, it has CBD. I don't know if CBD does anything to me, so I don't really care. I have some, uh, the, the San Diego tempeh. I love this tempeh. It's marinated really well. So um, yeah, appreciate that tempeh. And then the bowl I got does not have buffalo cauliflower. This was so sad. So I saw the last person take the buffalo cauliflower from the hot bar and I went up and I asked. But what was really nice is that they were running out of Brussels sprouts and the cute guy in front of me was like, split them between us. And I was like, okay. Cause he was gonna like get all the Brussels sprouts and I was get, gonna get either none or like one. So he told them to split them evenly and that was cute. Anyway, I got Brussels sprouts, kale salad and turmeric cauliflower. And then I got tempeh also because need protein. Anyway, this is what I'm having tonight. And then I'm saving obviously all this minus like one of the cinnamon rolls for me uh, for Christmas gift. Just gonna sign out here. It's been a fucking day. Hope that your Mercury Shadow and your flights are a bit more peaceful.